Octaferry recently released their new liquid freezer for 20 An amazing product, we very much loved it. Great performance, great quality, and just a very solid, like, generational increment. But in the full review, I talked again and again and again about the fact that Arctic did reuse the same P14s they used on the last version. And they did this despite the fact that they now got a denser radiator with thicker fins. Well, not thicker, but wider fins. This just didn't make sense to me. The only way that this would make any sense is if the radiator of the old liquid freezer, for 20 in this case, was underpowered by the P14s, but it wasn't. In a video we did like a year ago, I created a monster where I took three 3000 RPM P12 Maxes, oh, 3300 RPM I think, but P12 Maxes and strapped them to one of these Noxua 120 to 140 converters and then screwed that whole thing to the radiator and the radiator to the table because it almost took off. And lo and behold, I created a margin of error. And it's not like these fans weren't strong enough. In the noise to performance graph, you can see that they can spin faster and faster and faster, becoming like a freaking jet engine, but the temperature did not drop. The radiator pump, water block, or any combination of these was just done. So no, the Liquid Freezer 2 wasn't underpowered by the P14. Quite the contrary, it was actually pretty well calibrated. You could lower the noise by adding more fans and thus making each of them spin a bit slower, but the temperature gain were marginal at best. And if we know that, and we know that the cold play got upgraded, the pump should also be better, but more importantly there is a thicker and more dense heatsink involved, wouldn't that kind of mean that the fans are now at least slightly underpowered? And we are here today to find that out, because thankfully I got another set of Arctic P14s lying around, which we strapped to the back of the LF3420, creating a weird looking thing, because my P14s are white. But ignoring the eye cancer inducing look, let's see if the LF3420 really is underpowered by torturing it on the same benchmark we did before, but in push-pull. On the 120 watts workload, we got the first surprise, cause despite the regular 420 being marginally better than the original one, having another set of three fans pushed that thing up to the third place. At 27.2 degrees C above ambient, we are already looking at a difference or an offset of 1.3 degrees C compared to the original one. But the real surprise came because of the noise. Yes, having six fans is slightly louder than having three. That's true, but we can push the fan speed down and down and down and the ratio never reaches the one of the regular for 20. In fact, I needed to push the fan down as low as 40% of their max speed in order to make any other AIO reach that level of noise to performance. But that was 120 watts and this is a 420 AIO nobody cares about Minesweeper. Doing some big boy stuff started to reveal why Arctic should have done things differently. Pushing 250 watts through the socket, my liquid monster managed to keep the chip at 51.9 degrees C above ambient, making it equally good to the EK360 AIO which previously held the crown. And compared to the 55 degrees that the three fans could do, we are now looking at a gain of 3.1 degrees C, which is substantial in, in the high-end cooler world. But the kicker comes now. At this workload, the noise to performance line of the liquid freezer with six fans becomes the absolute best I have seen so far, even outperforming the EK AIO by a big margin. And the joke here is, if all of the six fans are set to 40%, we are roughly at the same temperature that a regular LF420 can reach full blast. At an extremely high workload of 320 watts, it just became worse. At 71 degrees C above ambient, the LF3 now took the crown for itself, given it's a margin of error away from the nucleus, but the distance to the LF2 now became 3.7 degrees. And to finish off my anger, this is the noise to performance ratio I would have wished to see on the LF3 review. This is best in class by a long shot. Nothing comes even remotely close. And funnily enough, here we can even see that the radiator is now done. 
If you look at these types of graphs all day long, you will start to see weird patterns. Like, let's take the nucleus line. It's pretty flat at the end. This usually indicates that the fan is the one that is keeping everything afloat. If you lower the fan speed even slightly, you will get a significant loss in temperature. Basically, the thing is struggling to keep up and the fan is the last line of defense. On the other hand, if we take something like the Alpha Cool Core Ocean, you can turn the fan down, making the thing a lot quieter, but not really that much harder. So the fan doesn't really do anything, or in other words, the combo is done. Done. There is not really more that you can squeeze out of it. And the same type of line we have at the end of my personal monster. The last measuring point barely made a dent in temperature, but made the thing a whole lot louder. Meaning the combi of red, water block, pump, whatever combo is, is done. There is not, more, not, not much more that you can squeeze out of it. Whereas the line of the original LF3, that one ends in a nice angle equally changing in temps and noise if you touch the fan speed. And usually that just means that the line could go on for longer in the same direction if the fan would have been able to spin faster, but it wasn't. And you don't know how much longer, that can be like a degree and then you are done, but it's also not always the case. Sometimes a manufacturer just perfectly gets that, that right spot. Let's take the LF2 for 20 for example. Even if the angle is nice, there isn't much more that you can squeeze out of it. But this then brings me to the point of this video. Arctic missed out on the Liquid Freezer 3. Don't get me wrong, I love what they have done and congrats on the product and if I would distribute recommendation badges, Arctic could hang one on the wall, but they could have done better. I understand that this isn't doable using three fans, I get it, but the P14s are clearly not strong enough to get everything out of the radiator. This line proves it. And they could have tried, like anything in between here and here would have made the Liquid Freezer 3 the best in slot noise to performance king. And right now, Arctic just shares that spot with the Nucleus, whereas the Nucleus can, can go on for longer. Quite sad for me to see that such a difference was even possible, and I sincerely hope that this is just like a marketing strategy that Arctic is pulling off right now. Like, we all know the P14 Maxes are in the making. There have been numerous confirmations of that. And my best hope is that there is going to be like an Arctic Freezer 3 Max with slightly better fans that can spin slightly faster, placing the whole AIO somewhere in between here and here. And if this wasn't the plan, well, I hope somebody at Arctic has pen and paper. But for you, if you wanted to see what the best in slot AIO is right now, get a Liquid Freezer 3 for 20 and a triple pack of P14s and create a monster and enjoy the silence of cooling down over 300 watts without having the fans ramp up all the way. It's amazing that this is even possible to begin with. But okay, I guess this was it for whatever the hell I created here. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to write a sorry card to Arctic, because no manufacturer should ever witness the thing that I do to their product sometimes. I, I'm, I'm sorry, kinda. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.